parents, the frustration stops right now. The stress stops right now. I've got you covered in this definitive tutorial just for you and your little one to succeed in the upcoming semester on Google Classroom. I'm going to walk you through step by step everything you need to know and how everything works through a detailed screen share. I'm Professor Nez. I've been teaching remote learning, online learning, blended learning, distance learning for over 20 years. And without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Let's go to the screen. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you sign into your Gmail account. Hopefully, it's connected to your institution or your school's G Suite. I don't want to get too technical. This is going to be super easy and simple. By the way, if you're looking for, uh, if you're a teacher or a student or parent and you're looking for the entire kind of overview, I'm going to link that video in the description down below. You might see a card pop up at the top of the screen. So once you get logged into your uh, Gmail account, what you want to do is you want to go over here to the corner in the top right. You're going to see this little funky um, three dotted uh, um, item here, and you're going to click on that, and you're just going to scroll down, okay? You're going to scroll down. You're going to see all these apps, and you're going to scroll down, and you're going to find Google Classroom right here. This is how you start, right? And also, you can move this around if you want. I can't seem to move it right now because uh, I think I have it locked, but you can bring that up to the top uh, once you, um, you know, see that you're using Google Classroom a lot more. So let's click on Google Classroom, and this is what the screen's going to look like. It's going to say, Welcome to Google Classroom. Um, if you want to continue as this individual and you just click the blue continue button and there you go. Now it's going to ask you to pick a role. And so obviously this tutorial is for students. And so if you're a teacher, you would click teacher. If you're a student, you want to click on student right there. And then what's going to happen is you're going to be brought to this screen and then you're going to see this giant arrow over here. It says join your first class. You want to click on that plus sign and then this is where you're going to have to put in the access code if your instructor or teacher has not already added you this is where you're going to put the access code that's going to um, that the teacher has uh, for his course that he should have either sent you emailed you what have you and you're going to type that in there and you're going to click join you're going to paste that code in there and you're going to click that join button right down here and here you're going to see this is what your uh, when you once you get signed in and once you put in the right code you're going to see that your course over here in the top right hand corner you're just going to click on that and this is going to be your view so students and parents uh, this is exactly the home page that you're going to see for your course that you're enrolled in for the teacher that you have and um, you're going to see that there's three it's it's very very simple very very easy you're going to see that there's three major tabs at the very top i'm going to go through each one and it's going to be super easy and simple the first tab is the stream tab then you have the classwork tab which is pretty obvious what that entails and then the people tab which is where you can kind of know who are the people that are uh, participating in the course and you can see your teacher there that's me professor nez i'm using this as a fictitious google classroom although i use everything i'm going to talk about right now so let's discuss each one of these so the stream the stream tab is basically the main kind of um, hub for the entire course. This is where almost like kind of like a, a news feed for any type of discussion thread, social media platform, like a Facebook news feed. You're going to see that there's posts, there's um, comments, there's assignments, there's new uh, files and videos that are posted on this feed. Any action, any decision, any uh, post, any grading that is done by the professor, you're going to be able to see that here. So for example, you'll see the latest post here was a um, Professor Nez, it says right here at the very top, Professor Nez posted a new question and this is a graded, it says it's due tomorrow. If you click on that, if you click on that uh, three dotted line right there, you can copy the link here. And by the way, before I get even started into this, um, one thing that you should always know is you're going to get notifications in your email uh, just so you don't have to always keep um, paying attention to the feed and, and being nervous about am I missing anything or what's going on, you're going to get email notifications every action that takes place in your class, every post, every comment, every assignment that gets attributed to the course, 
every uh, grading uh, application, you're going to get a notification via email, and I'll show you exactly what that looks like in just a second. Before let's let's stick to the stream uh, tab for just a second. So it says here, Professor Nez posted a new question, what, and you can click on that, and then it'll kind of you know go into a larger screen specifically for that one post. What methodologies did Socrates Socrates <laughs> Socrates cover in his Socratic method? And so it says here that this is due tomorrow, and you can see that I already answered this, uh, even though this was a fictitious question. You can also leave private comments here too, or you can leave class comments here too, such as, you know, great question, Professor. Um, that was a good one, or something like that, right? You can leave comments, you can ask questions, you can interact with the professor, interact with other students, other classmates. You know, a lot of the times I'll have um, students really engage with each other more than they will with their professor, especially regarding specific aspects of the course that maybe, you know, uh, they understand and, and, and communicate and collaborate. There's a real opportunity, parents. Don't think that because online remote distance learning is taking place across the land or in more uh, uh, prevalence that your students cannot get that social aspect. If done correctly, if you understand how these platforms work, specifically Google Classroom, you're going to get a lot out of that. And so you can also add private comments. So let's say I wanted to um, talk to the professor. So if you look over here, I'm adding a private comment. Uh, professor, quick question. Um, um, when when is the next test or something like that? I can send that to the professor and he will get a notification and that's just between you and the professor. So you have a separate comment tab for you and the course and the students and then a separate tab for you and the professor. Everything is streamlined. And if you want to go back to the stream, you just click on the course over there in the top left and you go back to the stream. And so again, you can see other things too, like Professor Nez posted a new assignment. Look at that. You can click on that. It's a reading quiz with the Google Forms. It's 10 points. It's due September 14th. You can add or mark as done over here on the right. You can add or create to your work. Okay, you haven't done this yet. You haven't completed this yet. But this is how you would really respond to these assignments. And I'll show you. You can also see um, in the different tabs, in the grading tab, you'll be able to add more depth to this as well and add your own uh, work and, 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 and any other supplemental forms or answers or what have you. Uh, you can click mark as done. And again, comments go to the entire class. It says class comments. And then you can have a private conversation with your instructor or professor. And then want to go back to that mainstream. Again, stream is the main hub, the main news feed to the entire class. And let me just show you briefly what that student view entails and what you're going to get. So let's go do that right now. So you'll see here, here's an example of an email. Let's say Professor Nez invited you to the class. Boom, that's, that's just a notification right there. Here's another notification right here. Professor Nez posted new material in business communication uh, course. It's a midterm prompt. That's pretty important. So if you want to open that, you would just click the blue open button right there. And here's that email. Look how simple this is, guys. Parents, super easy. You're going to get notifications and you'll be able to, parents, you'll be able to be added to the course as well if you have the course code or if you want to talk to the instructor and send them your Gmail account and be approved to actually join the course so that you can follow with your little one, with your students, with your kids, uh, the entire class so that you can be a big part of this uh, remote distance learning. So you can see here this email. This was the question that we just covered in the previous video uh, screenshot. Uh, what methodologies did Socrates cover? You can open that just by clicking the blue open up. I mean, Google really makes this super simple. Not really much to this. Okay, going back to the main tab. So we, we covered stream. And by the way, uh, other things that you can do in the stream, if you wanted to, like you'll see here at the very top, uh, share something with the class. You can ask a question that maybe the whole class could get something out of, or maybe you want to share something about yourself or share an experience that you had that's relevant to an assignment. And if you also click on this add button with the paper clip, you can add files from Google Drive. If you have things saved in Google Drive, a link to a website, a file from your computer, or a YouTube video that maybe further enhances something you want to share with the class, or maybe you want to share a video that's relevant to the course that you're taking, right? Maybe it's a, maybe it's a YouTube video. I mean, there's so many ways to contribute, to participate, to be an engaging member of the class as a parent and student. It's phenomenal. 
and then you just click when you're ready to. So, so for example, I'll say, let me, let me share something really quickly. I'll say, Hey guys, in case you had troubles with that last assignment, um, here is a video that I found that I think will help, right? And so you can click on add right here, and then let's go click on YouTube, and then watch this. This tab will open up, okay? This tab will open up, and you can find a video. So let's just let's just find a random video. Let's just say um, the course is a geography course or something like that, and we'll talk about you know um, Africa maps or something, right? So we'll click Af we'll we'll search for Africa maps, and then we can just click on that whatever video we feel. Look at all these videos that show up. It's so cool. By the way, if you didn't know this, Google owns YouTube. So a lot of people don't know that Google's the number one search engine on the planet. Well, guess what's the second largest search engine on the planet? YouTube. Click the blue add button right here and watch this. That gets posted up here, not yet, but I mean it gets added. And you can even add more if you wanted to. And then when you think you're ready to post, just go ahead and click that post button. Now the instructor, teacher, or professor does have the final say if this gets shown or not. But and also let's just say you change your mind. That's not the right video. You can also click on this little three dotted um uh, uh, tab right here and you can either delete this or you can copy it and send it to somebody else super super awesome so you can always contribute stuff to the class really really cool now let's look at the second tab the second tag up here classwork this is where you're gonna see the weekly assignments the weekly um, modules units that your teacher professor has assigned sometimes you know you can see here if you watch the previous tutorial which was an overview of the entire google classroom um app uh you'll you'll some of this stuff will look very familiar but you'll see here okay if i click on course documents this is and your instructor will kind of send you announcements and let you know i see here that this is a prompt for this project right here um Looks like Professor Nez posted new material here, midterm prompt, and then down here is the syllabus. Okay, I see the syllabus down here. I can read that. And so this is, think of classwork as the sort of meat and potatoes of the course. This is where you're going to get the assignments. This is where you're going to get reading materials. This is where you're going to get the syllabus. This is where you're going to get all of the major work that's due for your class. And you just simply click on whatever the module is, and there should be, hopefully, your instructor or professor watched my tutorial, so they really created a, a really beautiful, comprehensive Google Classroom that's easy to follow. Um, hint, hint, you can share this out to all your professors and instructors because they really need to see this. <laughs> um, and then uh, this, is, this is where you can find out what's due and how you can do well. And then uh, last but not least, the people tab right here. This is where you can understand, okay, this is where my teacher is. Uh, and who I'm am I in the right class or who are the who are the people that are governing this class and this course and that's pretty much it I mean you can go back to the main tab right there again you're gonna get email notifications for everything if you have any questions or any comments or anything at all about um, your you're also gonna get notified for grades too and so in classwork is where you're gonna find out how much you know the each each uh, assignment is worth so for example this assignment is, um, if you look at this right here, it says here that this is due tomorrow. Um, you turn this in, and this looks like it doesn't have a grade, so it was an ungraded assignment. If you go back over here and go to classwork, this one right here, the audience analysis, uh, if you view the assignment, this one says it was graded. So it was graded, and you can resubmit. You can see your grade right there, 99 out of 100, not bad. And so um, you can you can you'll be able to see you know what you're getting and 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 depending on how how much the professor reveals you'll be able to follow how you're doing and where you need to add more work or where you need to work harder or what your current status is as far as points percentage in the course. Thank you so so much for sticking around and watching the tutorial. I hope you got a lot of value from it. If you did, please smash that smash button as we like to call it, otherwise known as the like button, because it helps us in the YouTube algorithm and really get the best content out there to the best people who need it the most. Don't forget, I've got other videos all about Google Classroom, all about Zoom tutorials, video conferencing, career advice, mindset advice, personal branding advice. You're gonna see some videos over here, some videos over here. Make sure you click that subscriber button down there. 
and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.